So in today's video, I'm going to be making flaxseed rice soap at home. This is a nourishing soap that will help to brighten your skin and also good for exfoliating. So I'll start by adding two tablespoons of rice, two tablespoons of flaxseed into the blender. Then I'm going to blend until smooth. Flaxseed and rice are great for skincare because flaxseed is rich in omega-3 fatty acid and some other antioxidants. While rice is also good for exfoliating and has brightening properties. So when I'm done blending, I'm going to remove and set aside. So to me, the flaxseed and rice, I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons of water. I'll also add some few drops of vitamin E oil. I'll be adding a teaspoon of griseline. This griseline will help to moisturize and dehydrate the skin. Improve the skin tone and the glowing. I'm going to be adding turmeric. Then I'm going to mix until well combined. So for the soap base, you can use any soap of your choice. So you can decide to cut or use a grater to cut your soap into smaller pieces so that it can melt faster. You can melt the soap base by using microwave method or double boiler method. So I'm going to be using the double boiler method. This will heat gently until the soap base is melted. So while the soap base is melting, I'm going to be adding the flaxseed and rice mixture, then stir to combine while the soap base melts. So adding the rice and the flaxseed mixture, we add a gentle exfoliating texture to this soap. So when I'm done stirring, I'm going to remove from the heat. So I will carefully pour the soap mixture into the mold. So when I'm done pouring the soap, I'm going to allow it to cool and harden at room temperature for about two hours. So after about two hours, you can notice that the soap has fully hardened. You can remove the soap base from the mold. This is a nourishing, exfoliating and brightening soap that will help to improve your skin texture and also clear your skin from any breakout and give you a clear skin. I hope you try this. Thank you all for watching.